guys, Darren with you here again for East Woodland Survival. Today we're going to be talking about another knot in our little knot series I've been working on. And today's going to be the clove hitch. It's a pretty simple little knot. I hope you can see it there pretty good. It's a very easy knot to learn. Makes an excellent hitch uh, for starting and finishing lashing. This is what we used in scouts when we started and finished any Pioneer project. Let's walk you through the steps on how to tie this thing. Pretty easy, guys. Okay, we're going to start out by uh, using our running end of our rope, which is going to be our short end. And our standing end is going to be the long end. So we're going to take our running end of the rope, and we're just going to go around the top of our stick like so. And we're going to cross this right back over the top. See how we've got a loop across this? This is going over the top, like so. Then, we're going to come in, and we're going to take our running end and run un underneath again, like so. And we're going to come right back up through, right beside our standing end. And you'll know you got it correct if these kind of lay beside each other. And what we generally did with this in scouts is just to kind of form this as the first part of our uh, lashing when we're putting together projects. This has been eons ago. <laughs> We'd always start out using a clove hitch and then we'd come in if we wanted to lash something together and just start this lashing process and I'm going to go into lashing later on into more detail but you can kind of go across this do this a few times I want to keep my lines dressed up pretty nice. I'm just going to go a couple of times around. Forms a pretty good basis for our uh, uh, lashings. That's pretty much it right there. Okay. Remember, go over the top and around, just like that, forming your loop. Make sure you're over the top. Your running line is over the top of your standing line, like so. You're going to flip this underneath, just like that. And you're going to bring it right back up, parallel to the other rope. Kind of forms like a little cross on there. And you're going to tighten it down. And that is your clove hitch. <laughs> 